Jamhuri ya Kenya, the Republic of Kenya. This country got its independence on the 12th of December 1963. Jamhuri ya Kenya. What is the meaning of the word Kenya? The meaning of the word Kenya is Kirinyaga. And this is taken from the mountain, the highest mountain that you can find in Kenya. This is the mountain of whiteness. And this is according to the Kikuyu people because they see the snow cap on top of Mount Kenya and they say the Mount of whiteness. According to the Kikuyu people, this is the place where God lives. Or this is the place which they go and they meet. Or the gods can answer their prayers. Mount Kenya is the highest mountain in Kenya. And it has got a very good elevation, which is the second highest in Africa after Kilimanjaro. It stands at 5,199 meters above sea level. Kenya has got so many famous things. Kenya has got so many highlights. One of my favorite is the cradle of humanity. The homonids that we call the homo habilis, the ones that we call the homo erectus, they were all found in Kenya. So we can simply say that is the cradle of mankind coming from Kirinyaga. The Maasai people of Kenya are some of the highest jumpers in the world. And you see that they have one tradition that I give all my respect. Yes, I do not want lions to be extinct. But as a show of courage and to transition from a boy to a man, you're supposed to hunt down and kill a lion to become a man. This is a symbol of courage. This is a symbol of power. There are so many things that we can learn from the forefathers as this program says. And the motto of Kenya, Kirinyaga, is Harambe. And Harambe means let's pull together. Let's pull together. So, as Africans, there are so many things that we can learn from Kenya. Kirinyaga. I really love the word Kirinyaga and I'm going to say this word over and over. But right now, let me repeat the motto of Kirinyaga. Harambe. Let's pull together as Africans. Let's pull together as young people, as young businessmen. And we can achieve the sustainability of business all over Africa. The capital city of Kenya is called Nairobi. People can talk about the economic hub of a country. People can talk about the administration center of a country. Yes, that's the capital city. But Nairobi has got a different story to tell. If you have watched or if you have seen anything on social media when people are feeding giraffes from their windows, that is the capital city of Kirinyaga. That is Nairobi. The population of the whole country is close to 48 million people and they live on an area that is around 582 square kilometers. The major languages that they speak in this country are Isiswahili and English. The best thing or the best part of Isiswahili is that it is spoken over 12 countries in East Africa and somehow Central Africa. And it is the only language, the domestic language that is adopted by the African Union. The currency of Kenya is called Shilling and the smallest denomination are called the cents. The other highlight that you can talk from the country of Kirinyaga is the Big Five. What is the Big Five? The Big Five pertains to the animals that are in Africa that are difficult to hunt on foot. I know this term is coming from big game hunters and I don't like it, but well, we call it the big five after all. And we are proud to say that all of the big five animals, you can find them in Kenya. The first one is the lion. 
the king of the jungle. The second one is the elephant, the patient one, and the one that never forgets. The third one is the leopard, the elusive one. It's very difficult to find a leopard in any situation. The fourth one is the rhinoceros. Well, as Africans, we gotta do something to protect the rhinoceros from extinction because we got so many poachers. But right now, we can say that we still have it. And the last one is the buffalo. It's just like a wild cattle. It's just like a wild bull or a wild cow, but it's part of the big five and we are proud to have them in Kirinyaga. The first proverb from the land of Kirinyaga those who get to the river early get to drink the cleanest water. As far as business motivation is concerned, what can this mean? It means that if you have your own idea and if you start it as it is hot in your mind, generally you're going to get the biggest rewards out of it. I cannot talk of examples of big companies, but these days we have the company Tesla. The idea of an electric car was always with them, and look at them in today. Let's take the African child, let's take the African businessman. In any situation that you get an idea, please pursue the idea. Get the information so that at one day we can talk about self-reliance in African countries and on the African continent. This program is about the proverbs that we get from our forefathers that push us as far as progress is concerned. Motivation and success proverbs coming from the land of Kirinyaga. The second one says that having a good discussion is like having riches. So when you speak to people, just know what kind of information they're going to give you in those discussions. I remember when some people say that your net worth is equal to the average of the people that you hang with. Your net worth and your network together, they will push you to the riches. So, make sure that when you hang out with a couple of friends, inspire each other because not all our friends can be wealthy, but we can push each other by having those best discussions and it can lead to the riches. The fathers of Kirinyaga, when they coined this, having a good discussion is like having riches. They knew the value of communication that is coined towards progress and success. Let's follow our fathers. Virtue is better than wealth. When we are talking about goodness, we are talking about virtues. We are saying that it is better than wealth. And this is a proverb and the last proverb of this show coming from the land of Kenya. Oh my boy, these fathers of ours, they really had some knowledge. And to pass down this knowledge to you guys so that you can start working, it means a lot to me. Virtue, we are talking about good morals, but each and every time when I'm in front of the camera, the one moral that comes to my mind is oneness, integrity. Do you say what you mean? Do you mean what you say? Do you do what you say? Or do you say what you do? This is one of the strongest virtues that as African children, as African entrepreneurs, as boys, as girls, as women, and as men, we have to adopt and to make sure that we have a sustainable future. We learn from our forefathers. Well, you may ask me the question, can I be good and can I not be wealthy? No. I need you to have that hybrid when you have virtues and when you have the riches. If you put them together, we have the comfortable life.